All right, Shalom. Start first with giving all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Arokak Wadash, the belongs to the apostles and the elders of the Great Millstone. Greetings, salutations, and blessings unto the elect. Yep, here we go. He signed it. It says Trump signed social media executive order challenging platforms' liability protections. Okay, let's get into what that means. This is on RT.com. It's the 28th of May, which is today. It says, um, 2020 it says uh breaking news right because this is actually bigger than people believe okay it says i'm gonna read it then i'll kind of break it down uh generally break it down as a uh, as it goes it says u.s president donald trump has signed an executive order aimed at the major social media platforms denouncing the tech behemoths as tantamount to a monopoly the, the order may alter section 230 which protects them from litigation uh, meaning it's not their fault or uh, they're, they're not uh, uh, responsible for what content goes up on their site. Well, the president has changed that now with this. He wants them to, to police their own sites to keep certain uh, fake news, as he would say, but certain uh, uh, things that, that, that happen on, on their platforms uh, controlled, under control, which if you're putting out <coughs> a... Uh, a, a viral video, a video that goes viral of somebody being shot by the police or, or, or whatever, right? Um, they don't want that to go viral to cause an uproar like, like it has in Minneapolis, okay? Because social media platform was there watching uh, George Floyd get killed, and now we all saw it and it went viral. Now this is big time news, okay? Well, these companies are going to have to police themselves their own platforms to uh, to clean up certain things as they did with uh I've got her name with Dr. Merkowitz I believe her name was or is and uh and Dr. Fauci with the whole um CDC uh, covid you know uh you know injections and so on and so forth you got to be careful what you say on these things already <laughs> You know, uh, and how quickly that video that she was whistleblowing uh, uh, was taken down just merely hours after it was posted on YouTube. Okay, there's still a couple leaked spots where you can still find it. Uh, like, uh, <clears throat> like you know, uh, World Star Hip Hop, they still have it, I believe. There's very few places you can still find it. Well, he's holding big tech uh, responsible for that. Okay, it says Trump signs the order which claims to modify the legal protections currently shielding big tech from lawsuits over content hosted on its platforms. Yeah, because Jake is out there watching live. They go out there, run out in front of the ops on, in the wrong neighborhood. Yo, what's up? I'm in your hood. What you doing? Da, 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 and Jake ended up dead on, 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 on Facebook Live or Instagram Live or whatever. Okay? And so you... To cut all that off, even though this stuff is actually happening, to cut all that off and to hold these platforms responsible for for because if you think about it, it makes sense that that um to, to police it to a certain degree because knowing that you're on live and I, I can show you exactly where I'm at. I'm in your hood. I'm standing at your your corner store on your block selling your selling drugs to your people or whatever. And then all of a sudden they show up and it's on right. Well, that. Uh, perpetuates people going out there and, and trolling and, and doing certain things of that nature. Okay? That that, that does give, give stupid-ass people incentive to go out and do stuff like that. Well, um, there's two sides of it. The other side is this truth, though. Because whatever folly is going on outside of, uh, you know, uh, this truth... Yeah, it's cool to cut that down, but this truth is what's really spreading like wildfire. The information superhighway is 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 flowing, man. It's flowing. It's exposing this man, this devil. It's exposing uh, the, the 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 agendas of of, of of this ruling class devil, the elite banking families. The, I mean, passing. The, and then you put this story together with this uh, text together. With this book text together with this video, and now you can see the picture of who's who and what's what. And this man is being revealed through through social media. And our people are waking up through social media, whether it be YouTube or whatever whatever other platform uh, people are waking up through. 
So this will, will help police that. Okay? But you forget all the other things that these uh, platforms now do. They're still watching your IP address. They're still uh, uh, seeing all the things that you click on and advertising towards it with these cookies. Okay, so don't act like this is uh, like that stuff's gonna go away. And as I was watching a video uh, just yesterday, you were talking about how um, the more we give away our freedoms, you know, because we're scared and whatever else, let's not act like they're gonna. This country's gonna be so quickly to give those freedoms back. <laughs> you know, they're not gonna be so quick to give these freedoms back. So um, <clears throat> just keep that in mind. But it's too late. This is signed. And they're gonna and they're gonna go forward and forward and more and more and more tight and more draconian uh, actions. All right. It says um on Thursday he uh, as he addressed reporters at the White House. Okay. It says uh <clears throat> excoriating the platforms for what he and many others believe to be editorial bias. <laughs> the president. At, what's funny is you 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 you. You know, take down a video about uh, the truth or, or, you know, whether it be the biblical truth or somebody showing actually what is happening. Like the whole George Floyd thing, talking about how he was uh, resisting. But then the footage comes out that he was not resisting. Okay. It's it's funny. And then they have people pulling their phones out and they're just warriors with these phones. Um, right. But the end of the day is this truth is, is getting out too much. OK, this truth is getting out too much and they're and they're they'll edit out, they'll delete and edit certain videos, biblical videos that brothers are putting up about the truth. They'll put cert certain certain uh, truth informations out, but then they'll let all these uh, demonic messages go into the kids cartoons on the same platforms, let alone on, on everyday television. OK, so we see what this is all about. It's easy to see this man is not going to let up. In, in no way, shape, or form. He's coming down with great wrath because he know he had but a short time. He's using every avenue to stop what we're doing and to forward his agenda even even further. Okay, it says, um, the president added that U.S. Attorney General William Barr will also be tasked with working with states to enforce legal restrictions on social media, plat uh, social media firms. While Trump admitted challenges to the new order <laughs> from tech firms where likely he seemed confident his administration would be able to weather the storm. Yeah, of course, there's going to be other issues going on here. But what this basically breaks down to is the famine of the word. They, they're, they're doing their best to police this word from getting out. And then you have this guy, Vocab Malone, out there trying to do his angle with tying us into uh, black identity extremists and extreme home front terrorists or whatever they, they these acronyms they come up with to describe us, whether it be Project Megiddo, Rex 84, or whatever else. Okay, they, they, they know exactly what they're trying to push with this agenda. So I'm going to go to uh, just, I only got one script. That's all I need. Hold on. All right, this is Amos chapter 8. And I'm going to start at verse 11. It says, um, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord Yahweh, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor of thirst for water, but of hearing the word of the Lord. And this is the main agenda of, of what this executive order is about. Hey, we're going to hold you responsible for allowing these terrorists <laughs> uh, to, to upload this type of content on your page. And don't get me wrong, there's people out there saying some pretty brutal things uh, on the internet. And it's funny how certain things will, I mean, I've made videos where I didn't use one uh, derogatory term, one so-called cuss word, you know, and in um, my videos go down. I've seen other brothers do the same thing just merely based on the information because I I turn around and the next video you click on is saying some of the worst things you've ever seen, but because they don't have uh, the Heavenly Father's angle tied into it, it can stay up forever. Okay, years and years of, of crazy stuff, people getting killed, all kinds of stuff stay up on on these social media platforms. But you drop some truth, especially coupled with that Bible, and putting somebody in their place according to the Word, hey man, they're not feeling that. 
The same thing brothers bring up about uh, this guy Vocab Malone. How is it that you that you go so hard at the Hebrew Israelites trying to defend the gospel of apologia, whatever that is you believe in, Calvinism or whatever it is, but you don't talk about none of the other issues that's going on in the world. You don't talk about cop shootings. You, you, you may bring up a Muslim or something, but that's we we know what you're doing with that, okay? You may bring up uh, uh, but no, but you won't bring up all the other injustices going on in the world, including the biblical law, like we do, okay? You don't speak out against uh, the LGBTQ community, even though that's not biblical what they're doing. You don't talk about all the 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 what, what this man is doing with these um, injections. I gotta call them without using the buzzword. What they're doing with this this whole um, uh, spreading of illnesses and the masks and so on and so forth. I gotta use all the cold words to not get the video taken down. Look, we we jump through every hoop to not get the video taken down, but. The moment you show a, a, a clip of something, they're going to take it down. Okay, so this is all uh, part of the family of the word, which means our job as, as men of the Lord, going out there and waking you people up, is coming to an end. If we see guys like this uh, NFAC uh, using uh, certain terms uh, that, that, that could be attributed to the Hebrew Israelites, terms like Edomites, Terms like, I mean, he called him Yahweh, but yeah, you know, his real name is Yahweh. You know, I mean, all, all types of different terms that are linking his flagrant speeches to incite the people, which, sadly enough, we knew this is happening. It's biblical, and Lord will not do that in that video soon. But um, but they'll leave that up <laughs> for months on end. But then they'll take our videos down because the brother used the word, you know. Uh, VAC and fill in the blanks, okay? Because they use that word, because they used fraud or hoax or whatever. You know, they use certain buzz terms, e, uh, e -A -E -S -A -U. you know, he'll, he'll say, he use that word, you know, <clears throat> whatever else. It's crazy, man, okay? Anyway, so it says, um, it says, uh, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord Yahweh, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, even though there will be a famine of bread and water and food. And it has already begun as well. But bigger than that famine, it says, uh, Nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. They're going to come and get these Bibles. They're going to take the men of the Lord off the street. They're going to shut these internets off. Okay, from watching these type of videos. They know people are going to lose their mind if they shut the internet all the way off. But when they realize that we've completely um, got into the deep recesses of the internet to post the, the Heavenly Father's message, they, they're going to have to shut it all down to clean it all up. There's nothing that you can do overnight with one uh, executive order passing. But this man's going to do his best to do what he can do. All right, it says, um, uh, and they shall run, excuse me, and they shall wander from sea to sea from the north even to the east they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the lord and shall not find it okay they're gonna do everything they can to find this word when they need answers because we the men of the lord have been given the answers from the heavenly father okay i got another one right quick just because it's i'm rolling with it don't want to just uh pretentiously throw anything out there um I don't want to just throw anything out there, but I do want to connect these scriptures uh, as they come to me through the Spirit. Anyway, it says uh, Jeremiah 3 and 15, and I will give you pastors according to mine heart. Okay, these are the men of the Lord that you're seeing breaking these current events in the world down through the scriptures and giving it to you people plain and raw. Okay, no, no, no frills, no, 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 you know, none of that, you know, excess stuff to it, just... Clear cut, draw straight to the point. Clear cut, dry straight to the point. Raw, okay. Giving it to you, and you have to now figure out what that message means to you. Okay, we delivered the message. If it's for you, it's for you. You know how to move accordingly. There's plenty of videos on, on that. But if it's not, hey man, move on. You know, it says um, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Okay, and and 
That's what our videos are meant to do. They're meant to feed you with knowledge and understanding. Okay, because a lot of people are going to wonder, why Why is this happening? Why Why are they doing this? Why is this happening? Why, why is that happening? Well, we have to break these things down to you. And the, and the scriptures have them all uh, written down. We just put the puzzle pieces together for you and show you the big picture. Okay, one more and then I'm going to close out. Um, uh, I forgot where I was going that fast. Uh, where was I going with that? Um. I drew blank for the moment. Um, let me see here. Um, yes. We're going to go with Proverbs, the first chapter, and just to touch on it right quick. Um, oh, that was the other scripture real quick. I'll come back to this one. Matter of fact, I'll read this one now and um, and, come, and go to the other one. If I, Lord, when I remember it. Um, Proverbs chapter 1, and I'm going to start at uh, 20, 22. How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity, and the scorners delight in their scorning, and the fools hate knowledge? How long is this going to last? Okay, how long are you people going to continue to, 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 to watch all this stuff happen to our people, be, our people being at the epicenter of all of this, and then uh, we not understanding what we should be doing next? What we should be doing next isn't the message of the NFCA and NFAC. The message that we should be doing is the message of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, which tells us what? It's the man that you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, you know? The same message. He said, wait ye upon me, for vengeance is mine. So we're not supposed to go out and loot and take and take vengeance on these things. But I don't want to get too deep into that, but just showing you the simplicity of people. People just want to get on the internet. I just want to post my new such and such. I just want to be on here and get a little street fame, a little clout. Okay? People on there trying to clout chase and whatnot. That's not what this internet is set up for. This internet was written in the scriptures as the unicorn and it and it's for you to understand that this that this uh, uh this wisdom that we have is meant to be passed on to the people to wake you you people up unto salvation. All right. It says uh turn you at my reproof and I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. How is that? Through the men of the Lord. And how are you getting uh, the majority of the messages? Through the internet. And the other messages you see us on the streets. Out there teaching. Okay. It says. Uh, because I have called and ye refused. I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. But ye have said at not all my counsel. And with none of my reproof. I, will, I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. When your fear cometh as desolation and, and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me. Yeah, then they're going to seek to and fro, north to east, coast to coast, okay, looking for the, for the men of the Lord, for the answers, okay. It says, uh, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me, for that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord Yahweh. Let me go to the other one I had in my mind. Um, 33 and 6. It says, uh, Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. Where do you get that wisdom and knowledge from? From the men of the Lord. And with these policings that, that the internet is now going to have to do, you're not going to be able to get this message the same way. We're already, before this was signed, having issues with them taking down pages. Now, they're going to really get strict on it, okay? The child, uh, I don't know if it's Copa or something like that. That was one one angle. The You can't say things. When Google took it over, talking about YouTube particularly, when Google took it over, it made it a lot diff more difficult. All right, it says, The knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure, okay? So you want to gain up all this information as, you, as best you can. All right? So that's what we're out there to give you. So you can earn your salvation through this knowledge of wisdom. Hey, the devil don't want that to happen, man. The adversary don't want that to happen. Uh, last one. And this is uh, one that uh, just always a good one to, uh, to put on here. Because of what we're talking about. Uh, Psalm 19. To the chief musician, a psalm of David. King David wrote this. Um the heavens declare the glory of the Most High, and the firmament showeth 
his handiwork. Uh, day unto day other is speech and night unto night show of knowledge. How is that possible? Through the internet. Okay? Through the internet. And what are they trying to do with this uh, signing? Is it is it executive order? They're trying to shut that down. They're trying to uh, uh, close that up as best they can. Okay? There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard because you can hear Google Translate and brothers are all over the world pushing this message out in different languages. That if, even if you don't know the exact language the brother's speaking, there's a there's a translator as well as there's another speech with the same message in a close language that you can generally reference. Okay, and if but regardless, all of that is a uh, is the heavenly Father's spirit put in you for you to understand it. It can be in a language you know. If you don't have the spirit of the heavenly Father, you ain't gonna get it anyway. All right, but that inform when the, when he does share his spirit with you, you now have access to get that information though. Because we have the men of the Lord doing our jobs, being all over this internet, pushing this message out. Okay? And and, not, and I'm not just going to give Great Millstone the credit for that. There's a bunch of different uh, Hebrew Israelite groups out there. Okay? Pushing the general message of the Hebrew Israelites out there. Whether they got the name right or not, they still push Israel. But that name is a vital key to this whole thing. So make sure you got the name properly, which is Yahweh. And his son's name, who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, is Yahweh Shai. Okay, keep make sure those names are based upon uh, the doctrine that, that you learn from a Hebrew Israelite. Side note, back to the point, it says, There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Their line is gone out through all the earth. It's funny when brothers was like, yeah, online, you got to get online. Their line has gone out throughout all the earth. And their words to the end of the world in them have... He set a tabernacle for the sun. Okay? And so on um, the, the, the house of where you learn it, where you can truly take your time and, and grasp and learn this word is in your own home, on your own computer, through the internet. And it doesn't matter where the brothers are teaching from. They could be teaching from across the world somewhere. And you can get it, you know, in the vernacular that you need it, in the language that you need it. Okay? And this devil's trying to shut that down. So, um, let me see if there any more that I want. Yep, it says, uh, which is as a bridegroom coming out of his chamber and rejoicing as a strong man to run a race. His going forth is from the end of heaven and his circuit unto the ends of it. And there is nothing hid from the heat thereof. Okay. And so that, that's basically uh, uh, letting you know that there, that this thing goes from the, the ends of the earth into the to the firmament into the satellites and then being down to a computer near you, okay, from wherever the source was, and they have these codes and these uh, coordinates that that can get it. And Esau is tapped into that of watching what you watch. So if this thing isn't for you and you've clicked on it, he's coming to get you, okay. If you've got a carnal spirit and you've been watching this, he's coming to get you. If you've got a criminal record and, he's come, and, and, and you, you watch these videos, he's coming to get you. Okay? And that part's coming as well. But the point of this video is he has to police the content from the internet to, to, to calm the people down. But he doesn't want to completely turn you completely off from doing your old social media challenges and, and dumb idiotic things. Okay? So... This is what's coming down the pike. That was signed today. We we know that um, this has been in the works and, and that this is going to only progress further and further. A lot of references uh, I've been seeing as I read about it um, are referencing this, uh, and, and in other cases too, referencing uh, the movie 1980, the book and movie of 1984 by George Oros. Okay, the, basically uh, the government having complete control over the people, which... With this new world order and the RFID microchip coming, that's what they want to do. So, uh, Lord willing, this was edifying. Giving all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Arukakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders at the Great Millstone. And greetings, salutations, and blessings unto the elect. To the next one, Shalom.